Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Tuesday, December 11th Board of Selectmen meeting. I'll read the agenda. 7 p.m. Citizens Input, 7.05 Harvest Group, Inc., DBA, Mayap Maya Pearl, Change Manager, 7.20 The Kitchen Partners, LLC, Doing Business as Union Straw, Minor Modification to Existing Licenses, 7.35 Presentation by Town Manager of Fire Chief Selection, 7.45 Selectman's Update, 7.50 Town Manager's Update, 7.55 Assistant Town Manager's Update, and then we have several action items. So, Doc, you want to leave me in the pledge? Sure. <coughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> 7 o'clock, citizens' input. Anybody here for citizens' input? Jan? <laughs>
Now, here's my notes, but I know you can't talk about it, but it needs to be put on the agenda. And also, you know, if the management company is going to put it in, then I don't think you can check with the legal legals and find out if you can legally put that in. And especially with Colleen of Court. If this was any apartment complex that you pay rent and something isn't quite right, they have to fix it. So I don't know if the building inspectors ever say anything to the housing authority about that electric box that's only in the meeting room at Centennial Court. But if it needs to be fixed, it's an apartment complex and it doesn't matter if you write your own check out or if you get federal or state funds, but I think Colleen is only state, the other one is federal and state. You're still required to fix it if it's not working correctly. Okay. Thanks, Janet. Okay, I'll <clears> give <throat> these copies to Amanda. I did my own notes, so if you have a problem, you can call me. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, anybody else for citizens' input? Seeing none. Um, 705 Harvest Group Inc. doing business as Mia Pearl, change of manager. Want to come up to the table and state your name for the record? <clears throat> Good evening. Uh, my name is Paul Schneiders. I'm an attorney from Canton, and with me is Jean Ma. She is the uh, owner of the uh, My Pearl restaurant, which I hope you all have uh, had a chance to visit at one time or another. Her daughter Sydney is with us in the back, and we appreciate you taking us early because Sydney's got to go home and do homework. <laughs> so the uh, uh, Jean's husband, Sydney's father, Ed Wu unfortunately passed away at a very young age on uh, Mother's Day, May 13th of this year. And uh, everything in that restaurant, My Pearl, and everything in the other restaurant he owned in Canton, My Place, was in his name. So we're doing the estate right now, and that'll be done by May 13th of, of uh, 2019, at which time everything will be in Gene's name. But the uh, executive director of the ABCC, Ralph Sacramone, suggested as a stopgap measure that at the very least uh, we ought to get uh, Jean as the uh, manager of both restaurants. So she has been appointed the manager in Canton, <coughs> and we're here tonight to ask you to appoint her as the uh, manager of My Pearl. She did take the tips uh, uh, course, as did her uh, brother, Jim, who helps her out and the head bartender, Ed Fung, of the, so they all have taken the tips course, which is good. Uh, so that's pretty much where we are uh, at this moment. We'll be back to visit you in the spring when we're going to, get, going to ask that uh, all of the names be changed from Ed Wu to, uh, to Jean's name. And uh, I want to just finish by thanking Amanda and uh, Pam. They were very, very helpful to us in a difficult time. Thank you. <clears throat> Thanks. Anybody on the board have any questions? No, just uh, Ms. Ma, I frequent it often. It's a very well-run establishment, and I'm, I'm sorry for your loss. He's a nice man. Thank you. Any other questions? No, seems straightforward. Right. Okay. Um, uh, move to uh, change the manager. Uh, of record in the Harvest Group DBA My Pearl. Second. Motion made. Second. Any further discussion? Just under discussion to Jane May, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, yes. Yeah, Jane, Jane May. Yeah. Okay. Um, so motion made. Discussion. Uh, Jean Marr. Jean Marr, sorry. Um, okay, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. We'll see you in the spring. All righty. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck. All right. Anybody here yet from the kitchen partners? Yeah. I'll just state your name. Uh, right. Jim Glazer. And Jim, how are you? Good, good. And you are the... Um, I'm one of the investors partners. Okay. Right. So what do you want to do? Um, I guess we're here to um, get the plan restamped for 136 seats. Okay. So we originally approved it for 90? 
Correct. And then the engineers came in and we stamped it for 136. Okay. No other work to be done? It, no. The, no. Nothing changed? Mm -mm. Okay. Pretty straightforward, it looks like, right? Hmm. When are you um, opening? <laughs> I think very shortly. <laughs> trying to draw that answer yeah, out of yeah. whoever comes in. Yeah, no one's giving it to us. Right, right, no, but shortly. <laughs> yeah. They're training staff right now, so. Should have been, you should have said closer than we were two weeks ago. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but they're very close. Mr. Chairman, to you, I just, um, just we want to make sure you've, you've got all the proper sign offs from the fire department and the uh, building inspection department, right, for this increase? I, I believe, I believe so. Okay, that's important to have that because yep. that's what they'll be certified as if that's yep. the case. I know, I know the plan was submitted. Okay. Yeah. So do we approve it pending those signatures then? Yeah, we just want to make sure that that's, uh, it, it, it has to have those signatures okay. in order to be certified for that, that okay. size. Okay. Yep. Okay. And anybody else on the board have any questions or? I know it's been mentioned in our staffing, so I, I know that we've looked at it. They've, they've had eyes on this, right? Okay. And, and there's been no pushback. Though. No, I don't. I don't. I, I think everyone's on board. So basically, so we can get a conditional approval tonight, and then we just need to get the board, the building inspector, and the fire department to conf to confirm the size. Right, and so I won't have to come back again, though. No. You won't have to. Come okay, back that's no. that's perfect. Yeah. All right, move to approve the modification to the Kitchen Partners LLC doing business as the Union Straw existing annual all alcohol common vic and seven day entertainment license from 90 seats to 130 seats uh, with the caveat that the uh, 136. One, 136 seats um, that the uh, uh, fire chief and the uh, building inspector sign off. Perfect. Second. Motion made, second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Awesome. Thanks. Thank you all. Um, all right, next up, a little bit ahead of schedule, Bill. Um, presentation, town manager, fire chief selection. So this is not going to be an extensive presentation, but, but um, I've uh, previously advised the board that I have reached a conclusion as to uh, who this person should be, and, and um, I will say from the outset that, um, first of all, I want to congratulate um, current Chief Hatfield for preparing two very, very highly qualified candidates for this position. Um, as everyone knows that we actually did an internal uh, promotion this time. We did not go outside to seek, seek a candidate to fill this role. Um, for some time now, the, the current Chief has been, has been grooming and, and de developing uh, two very highly qualified uh, candidates for the role of fire chief, um, which made it extremely difficult to select one of them to, to fall into that role. So what we did, um, in, instead of just making it, um, you know, based on just an interview, was that we had an outside uh, firm do a, an assessment center, which we typically do in those situations, as we've done in all the other uh, fire chief and police chief uh, candidate situations, or or even um, uh, deputy chief or that type of role. And, uh, and as, as, a, as the role as it rolled out, uh, both candidates again did very well, but there was a difference. Um, and then I actually met with both candidates uh, individually um, this, uh, right after that on the following Monday, following the assessment that was con conducted on Friday. I met with them on Monday, uh, reviewed uh, their, uh, several, their credentials with them and, and also their plans for what their view of the, of the department should be over the next several years, and came to a conclusion based on the, the results of the assessment center and the interview that uh, Deputy Chief Mike Kelleher should be raised to the, to the level of fire chief of this department. Uh, Mike is a, a resident of, of Foxborough, uh, as, is, uh, as is Deputy Chief Tom Buckley, who also was a, is a resident of Foxborough, so it was good to make a decision that uh, for a hometown guy. Nice to be able to do that. and. Um, and I, was, I will tell you that we we're, were fortunate to have two very highly qualified guys. And I, I will tell you, both candidates did extremely well in the process. Um, and I will tell you that the assessors who actually rated this process said both candidates were extremely well qualified. And they said the, the writing portion of their, their assessment was the best that they'd ever seen. So I, I, it's the, the, credentials, uh, the, the congratulations go to both candidates. I, um, again, very difficult decision to make, but I will tell you that I think that um, it's a good decision. I think it's one that uh, I think will benefit the community in the long term. 
overall, but I, I, it's, it's nice to be able to nice, have a nice number two in place as well. So that's the recommendation I have, and anybody have any further thoughts, I, I certainly will certainly welcome that. When would, um, when's Roger's last day and when will Mike start? Roger is expected to leave on January 19th, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's, the, it's the last part of the uh, second half of the, of the month. And um, yeah, I, I certainly will have to do a contract negotiation with Mike and bring that back to you for final approval, but I don't expect that to be a difficult process. And um, I'm anxious to get started on that, but I certainly wanted to bring it to you first before I, I went any further. But would there be, would Mike be, is he going to be like in this role once the contract's signed? He would actually take over as of January 19th when, uh, okay. when the chief leaves. So, so it'd be, he'll still, the chief will stay on in that role. Okay. He's going to continue to work under the, the guise of, of the chief, uh, work more directly with him on uh, some, of the, some of the roles and responsibilities that he took. Should be with. fairly seamless transition. Yeah, it, it really should be. I, I mean, I can tell you that both candidates have, have worked closely with the chief over the past several years. They've prepared the budgets. They've worked uh, on a lot of the, uh, they've worked on a lot with, with uh, public appearances. They've been involved in a lot of different events, training the department, working with the department, worked in collective bargaining roles. Um, so I, they, they're very familiar with the operations, and, I, and it's, we're fortunate to have that kind of a situation for this town. Good. Anybody on the board have anything? No. Just a logistical. So under the town manager form of government, you have the responsibility for hiring and, and, and negotiating. Mm -hmm. We signed the contract. Yes. So right. today being middle of December, if he's starting in January, when would we expect to see a I will, contract? I hope to have something for you first week in January, the first meeting in January. Okay. See that. And his starting date would be January what? Uh, I believe it's the 19th uh, was when Roger is going to step down officially, so if I'm not mistaken, so I'll, I'll confirm that, but I believe that's the date. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, Selectman's update. Um, I just want to thank the Foxborough High Swim team for the dinner they put on for the veterans last Friday. Mike, did you get to go to that? Did I just get... If the if the recommendation is acceptable, can you just confirm that? Well, oh. so I can move forward. Oh, all right. <laughs> all right. Did we did we have to confirm that? Well, usually you do. It's the, it's the process that I present it. And if there's unless there's any, unless you take if you take no action, it it, it, it comes approved automat automatically. But if you if you want if you don't want to wait, you can certainly act on it now. So as a motion, yeah. motion move to before. approve Mike Kelleher as our next uh, fire chief. Pending contract yeah, negotiations. Pending contract negotiations. Second. Motion made. Seconded. Further discussion. Just, just under discussion. Uh, th this just seems a little different than what we've done in the past. Well, only so. because of the timeline. I wanted to make sure that we. You wouldn't yeah. normally. You would just. It would normally just. I would yeah. announce it, and then unless anybody had any problems, you wouldn't. It would just follow. It yeah, just, and I'm not trying to be antagonistic, but we are asking for a vote. We haven't seen a contract at all. So well, pen, well, pending I'm contract. Pretty, yeah, it, it's. It's, uh, all he would do is go to the next phase, which I would then bring the contract back for your, for your final approval. I think we're authorizing Bill to enter contract negotiations. negotiations. Correct. That's it. Okay. So I, I, having said that, if you could reword the motion. That's not what the motion was. So if, yeah. if the motion is to enter into contract negotiations, but I think the motion was to approve it well, pending approve, a contract. Pending a, con pending a successful contract. So either, either or which I think it's probably. Virtually the same yeah. language. Yeah. Amend it. Yeah, amend it. Yeah. So, uh, so uh, move to approve. Um, to, to authorize wow. a town manager to go into Motion. contract negotiations with Mr. Kelly. Right. What he said. Yeah. Second. Motion made. Second. And any further discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, so, last Friday night, the Foxborough High swim team put on a. A dinner for the veterans. It was last Friday afternoon. Mike, did you attend that or? I did not. I was uh, I was otherwise engaged, but yeah. I understand it was very successful. It's well good. attended. Good. That was the first time they've done it, so um, hopefully they will do it again. Um, so thanks to the the swim team and VFW for providing the uh, location. I was uh, I was there two days later um, at the VFW hall and um, to brief them on on other matters. And, uh, and they raved comments about it. They were very pleased that the youth in the in the community reached out to, to the veterans in that way, 
and that uh, that they were able to use the building to do that function. So it, it went over very well. Good, good. That's nice. That's good. And then the only other thing I just wanted to thank Tom Freeman for for getting the menorah up on the common. Um, looks good. Does anybody else have anything? All right. Um, town manager update. So just a couple uh, things I wanted to bring to your attention. What, this week we uh, received, a, we sent out a letter to CSX and Mass Coastal regarding the rail situation that we said we would do and uh, basically put them on notice that we're, that we're not pleased with the, with the actions that they've taken um, and uh, therefore uh, hoping that they will cease and desist any further uh, such activity that will, that is causing the, the disturbances in the neighborhood. So we uh, are continuing to try and establish a meeting with with uh, CSX and Mass Coastal, and, and we've also notified DOT as well, just to, as, a, as an interested third party. But uh, and I think they will be they'll try to participate in the discussions as well. So we just want to just uh, let people know that that's gone out, and that um, I, I copy the board on that, so you're aware of that as well. And um, I'll also send a copy of this to the, to the neighbors. Letting them know that uh, this information has gone out, made them make them aware of it. The other thing is uh, related to the uh, the, um, the situation relating to uh, the the um, dealing with the reservoir, the Ponset Reservoir. That uh, we did receive notification this week that um, that that uh, Snyder Electric has not has requested an extension of time to, re to respond to the comments that were made in the report. Um, they asked for the extension to be uh, to the end of uh, January 30, uh, to January 31st, 2019, to parents submit the uh, the RTC. Uh, they uh, obviously wanted to re they, they wanted to take those comments that have been made to them and to the DEP and, and evaluate them and see if they can come up with some some further answers. So, um, just letting you know, and give you in the in the in the, uh, in the know in that situation. So they're going to be. Um, and we see a formal notification and that went to DEP for asking for that formal extension. I'm not sure if they're going to if they're going to grant it or not, but at least they, they made the request. The other thing is that, um, in, uh, the, the, I think uh, several uh, maybe I'm sure you may be the only one maybe on the board at the time that was uh, maybe some of you were dealing with the handover project. Where there was a, there was a mitigation Some mitigation funds yeah, yeah mitigation funds so that those funds are actually still out there because the we're waiting for the the project to reach uh, ninety I think it was a ninety percent full uh, capacity mm -hmm. what's well, beyond that now so we we we're in the the so called waiting period but we've asked them if they would consider uh, conducting the studies now because clearly there's ninety eight percent of the of the places occupied so we think that if they can start the studies. That can tell us what kind of improvements we can sh we can look at. Roger Hill and, and um, Nick Riccio have both looked at the situation, and and, and Roger's uh, thinking that if it's possible, if we can get an, an early answer on that, if if in fact, unless there's there's a significant change being requested to the intersection itself, that what he'd like to do is to actually utilize some of those funds to help repave that area, uh, the both the streets, but he's. Um, Obviously, we have to wait and see what those results come up with. But he's he's given me a, a memo asking me for for consideration of that. I said I would I would at least alert the board of that situation. For those of us that don't know anything about that, can you yeah. just review real quick what that is? So there there were funds set aside when the the permit was granted for the 40B. Uh, the the handover project is uh, uh, was man. was mm -hmm. that was a, one of the last 40Bs that was granted in the community. That was the part of that agreement was that there was a, a fund of about three hundred thousand dollars that were set aside, one hundred fifty thousand directly related to the project. Now the one hundred fifty thousand could be used for community type uh, expenses. Some of that money was was spent on on permitting uh, permitting software, which was actually requested as part of that. And so there's still money available for that. Um, I think there's there maybe a, a total of about two hundred fifty thousand dollars that's remaining out, out of all those other three hundred thousand dollars. So um, I'll, I'll confirm that number, but um, just want to let you know that those funds are still available to be spent. Uh, but we want to make we want to understand what the impact is, what the greatest impact is, and I think it was I believe it was the, the will of this board to try and spend the money as much as possible in that neighborhood. Um, and so we can so I'm here to tell you that we're at that point, and we're coming up on that point. So I want to just make you aware of that. 
and that, and once we have some of the impact study of the impact uh, the traffic impacts we'll bring it back to you and then see what you want to do from there I think I think the one piece that small piece that's missing is there was a strong um, neighborhood opposition group or a mm -hmm. community involvement group mm -hmm. and rather than doing a study and saying well we think the impact is lighting or traffic or noise mm -hmm. we were going to reach out to the neighborhood and say now that it's 90 percent occupied yeah. what do you see and I know a house went up across the street it was you know and that's the an area they were talking about landscaping things like that so rather than just rely on the municipal side mm -hmm. in a study if we could reach out to that group and it, there was a few organizers maybe but just say what have you seen traffic lighting noise policing things like that yeah i think that makes the most sense they're the ones that live it every day so what could uh, what kind of improvements could we do we'll try and identify who some of those folks um go back in the records and find out yeah but i, I think it was it was about. It was stated at a meeting that we would do that. So yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fair. So so we we want to. Um, it's the, it wasn't a huge group. It was it was probably maybe a dozen or so people at the most. It started Is large, then it came down, and then there was some discourse, and it ended up with just a few, very vocal. But I know the neighbors that right. did show up were directly abutting Fisher in right. and the other side. So just give them the opportunity to. Um, all right, we'll we'll uh, we'll make that point to try and reach out and uh, find out who they are. Okay. And then the other thing is, um, I don't know if you had, had a chance to see this, but this is the the new uh, newsletter that has been put out by the by the um, by the North, by, by the uh, Council on Aging and um, Human Services the, the Council. It's um, it's about nine or ten pages long, and it's very comprehensively done. Um, completely paid for by uh, donations so it was uh, so it was really well put together it's really uh, tells a great story about the about the seniors it tells a lot about the things that they're offering now and, and different programs and it's, it's really really well put together so if you get a chance to look it over please do it's a uh, I think it's a, it's a nice uh, nice start to that new, new approach mm -hmm. yeah I think Amanda it's initiated by Mark yeah, this should have been yeah. Yeah. So this is just Foxborough or all of them? So Fox, just, just Foxborough? Fox, right? Beautiful. Yeah, I remember when we interviewed him, hmm. when we interviewed him, he was talking about this. It yeah. didn't take him long to take him long. Yeah. put out an extremely, check that out. I mean, that's, that's great. You've had a chance to, yeah. to get over there, too. They've actually changed the whole look. If you went to the senior center, they've actually sort of freshened up the, the paint and, and the furniture, and it's actually done a nice job. Wow, so, it's impressive. Yeah. Well done. Printed, right. and, uh, so that's that does it for my uh, updates at this point so thank you Mike did you want to add something to that yeah as uh, Mark was meeting with us this morning Mark Craig he was saying that he had uh, 2,500 copies of this newsletter made at no um, with no use of tax money and uh, they're planning on doing this as a monthly newsletter and these are distributed uh, around all the municipal buildings in town so uh, he's off and running. It'll be a, it'll go via email as well. Um, yeah, it's electronically done as well. Yeah. So, so just one other thing I just wanted to mention this morning that we were that Foxborough has been has been selected as as one of the uh, say highlighted communities in in the annual report for the Maya program this year. So they were here taking our pictures this morning for the whole committee, uh, the safety committee, and and this morning we recognized. Uh, Barbara Kelly, uh, Babs, as, as she's so affectionately known around here, as really a, sort of a, a true leader of that program, and so we gave her a little uh, recognition this morning. It was, it was uh, she was really, well, really appreciative of that. So, uh, congratulations to her, and uh, congratulations to the, to the safety team for being recognized for that, for that achievement. So, good, good. a positive note. All right, it's all um, assistant town manager update. I just have a few things. Um, today was a good day for all of us. We, um, we had three collective bargaining situations. We had an arbitration this morning that we settled without, um, it, it was pretty easily settled without being a long drawn out costly thing with the steel workers. Mm -hmm. We um, came to a tentative agreement with the library union today. They're gonna bring it back to their membership and um, we also came to a tentative agreement with police so it was uh, one piece that's still hanging out there. yeah there's one questionable piece but I think we're 
pretty good meeting pretty of close. minds. Very small number of issues. It's um, I think it's looking pretty good. So hopefully at some point in January after they their groups ratify, we can bring you uh, more details on those um, deals. So. That's all Right. Thank you, guys. Uh, two positions that we're uh, uh, looking to fill. The assistant assessor position uh, has closed. We'll be moving into the next, uh, the second round of interviews on that Monday the 17th. Um, and then uh, the treasurer collector uh, position is still open. We'll be closing that position on the 14th. And then to follow up with uh, with interviews for that, we've had a good response on on all of our recruitments. Um, and then the last thing I have is that, um, you know, as you mentioned, Mr. Chairman, the uh, you know Tom Freeman brought forward the idea about uh, lighting a menorah on the on the common. He did a wonderful job uh, constructing it. You can see it as you come around the north end of the common. And uh, uh, the, the town manager was invited to uh, for a ceremony there this past Sunday. Um, he had a conflict, so I went and represented uh, him and the board, and met with uh, Tom, the the, uh, the rabbi, and uh, and a group that filled the community room at the library uh, with just some some great events. They. Uh, shared a little bit of their uh, culture and religion with me, things I didn't know, things about the dreidel, things about some of the, you know, thing. in fact, here's, here's Tom uh, now. And uh, <laughs> if anyone's familiar with the dreidel, it looks like a, uh, a wooden top yeah, and you, Tom, spin, be be you spin it. <laughs> and uh, well, they had a dreidel that was about uh, three foot by three foot and three foot high where they would actually put a kid inside, spin this thing, and the kids had a ball. And, Sounds fun. <laughs> uh, and so they did that leading up to the lighting of the menorah on Sunday. So hats off to Tom, to the rabbi, and the whole group that were there. It was uh, really Foxborough and all the folks that came uh, as well from out of town did a great job on that. Yeah. That's all I have. Good job, Tom. Nice job. All right, uh, action items. All righty. Um, Move to approve the 2019 licenses. Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? But yeah, do we have stamps here? It was an extraordinary and job done by Pam. And, and yeah. I think, did you help out at all on this, too? That's uh, it? all. It's all on Pam. I think, yeah. it, I think she did a terrific job. Yeah, so place. under discussion, <laughs> there is a, a stamp in place. So yeah. no writer's cramp this no year. No way. Yeah. Awesome. You guys get to avoid that this year for a change. So motion made, second in. Um, any further discussion? All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, move to approve Agria LLC doing business as the Commons Eatery Common Victuals License. Second. Motion made, second in. Any further discussion? None. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Uh, move to reappoint uh, the agri Agricultural Commission members with terms expiring 12 14 21. Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Move to accept a gift donation to the Council on Aging of $240 um, from the Friends of Foxborough Seniors for half of September and October, Tai Chi. Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Move to accept a gift donation of $35 to the Council on Aging and Human Services from Anonymous for the Lockbox Safety Program. Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Um, move to accept a gift donation in the amount of $132.25 to the Foxborough Historic Commission from multiple donors through the book sales for the general, for the general historic fund. Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, move to accept a gift donation in the amount of $415 from Fred Lockhart. Fox, Foxborough Founders Day Planning Committee, Catherine Scott, Annie's Bookstop Association, David Clinton, South Shore Model Railway Club and Museum, Lin, uh, Lydia Maine, Virginia Coppola, Fred Green, Ann Connedy, 
to the Boyden Library General Gift Fund in memory of Marilyn Cutler. Second. Motion made, second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Right. Uh, move to approve Whole House Group, LLC, doing business as Battle Road Brewing Company. Uh, request to amend a one-day entertainment license on 12-15-18 to include a guitarist. Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor? Right. Move to approve extended closing hours for the CBS Sporting Club on New Year's Eve to 2 a.m. on 1-1-2019. One, one, Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? Pending the normal stoppage of liquor sales. Yeah. Okay, so motion made, seconded, um, providing they stick to the, the liquor rules. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Move to approve extending closing hours for the CBS Sporting Club on 12 29 18, 1 26 19, 2 9 19, and 3 2 19. 2 a.m. Second. Motion made, seconded. Any further discussion? Yeah, just out of curiosity from yeah. my point, why those specific dates? I, I don't Reading see in the, the letter, it's there's sporting events going on, so I'm yeah, thinking it's, it's pay-per-view boxing or something. Oh, okay. It's just restaurant only. It's not Yeah, it's alcohol no alcohol, sales. but it says for sporting events, so it's got to be... Uh, no. wouldn't be wouldn't be playoffs February 9th and March 2nd. It's going to be pay-per-view boxing. Could be could be boxing. Yeah. Okay. Um, is this? I don't want to. I mean, New Year's Eve, all that. I mean, we typically will extend. Are we? Are we legal to do this on multiple days for stuff like that? Or are we going to open up a? Can of worms. Well, it's interesting because you're, you're, not, you're not looking to, for, to extend it for alcohol service. They're only looking for the restaurant service. Yeah. So that is interesting. Yeah, see, I, I, I double checked the letters. None of them said why, per se. Well, it just says um, additional time open as a restaurant serving only food would not include any alcohol beverages. Uh, I thought I saw. Oh, it would allow us to show important sports events to our guests without removing them before the event comes to its conclusion. So it must be boxing. So it has to be a pay-per-view or type MMA, of thing, probably. Um, I just don't know if. I mean, are we opening ourselves a can of worms here with other establishments wanting to add this, do this? Is it within our bylaws to allow multiple? other times other than, you know, the one-off Christmas Eve type thing? Um, it, like I said, it, the, the extension of liquor service is one thing, but the yeah. extension of food service is a different thing. But under a, a common Alcohol victual license... Alcohol is regulated by the ABCC, but the... Right, but under common victual license, under our town bylaws, I mean, could you open a 24-hour diner? I mean, can you serve food in Foxborough? 24 hours. I mean, I just don't want to. I don't want to do something here, and it looks like we have a little bit of time to maybe look into it. It's We're meeting point. next week. Um, All right, I was going to remind you, everybody, we are going to meet next week, so it's a, it's only one week. Yeah. Because there's no there's no meeting next week. Because the following week is Christmas. Yeah. I mean, conceptually, I have no issue with it, but I think we just need a few more answers. Okay. I can check in. Chris, I'd like to be curious to know what what the events are. And, and that, I was going to add to Chris, you know, yeah. other, other than the, um, well, no, I, I'd have to say all four of them. I'd be curious because it's not December thirty, uh, December thirty first. It's the 29th. Right. Yeah, and there's no football game that goes after one a.m. either. So it's definitely. It's, it's interesting. They're not even asking for extension on New Year's Eve. Yeah. Yeah, they did. Well, the one before. Yeah. Twelve twenty nine. Yeah, the or eight oh nine, the one we just approved. Oh, I see. New I'm Year's sorry. Eve. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's right. So yeah, I mean, I don't see any harm in, in waiting a week to approve this. Um, it's not going to hurt them. Well, no, so, um, and I don't think collectively, well, I shouldn't speak collectively. I mean, I don't have an issue conceptually with it, but I just wouldn't mind a little we'll more. We'll confirm it, you know. Bring it and with us coming back, back next week. So we made a motion, we seconded it, we discussed it, and... Just table. Move to table. Move to the table till next week. All right. 
So do we have to vote on the tabling until next week? Or just withdraw the motion, I guess. Yeah. All right, I'll withdraw. Okay. Second. All right. Motion made to withdraw and second. And all those in favor of withdrawing. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, if you could just get clarification. Certainly will. Move to adjourn. Second. Motion made to adjourn. Seconded. All those in favor? Good okay. night, everybody. I'm going to say happy holidays if we get one more. <laughs>